Say goodbye to what's left of your fucking gun rights. That's right, if you've been paying attention, the House passed H.R. 1808. So now it's off to the Senate, where it does not have the support, yet. Like I said in one of my other videos, I'm calling it now. It passed the House, so I'm calling it in the next couple weeks, there's going to be one hell of a mass tragedy. You know, so people vote emotionally on the subject. And for people calling me paranoid, I got something to say to you. The text has been amended. It has been fucking amended to include a semi-automatic version of an automatic firearm. If you didn't catch what I'm putting down, I'm talking about them coming after pretty much all handguns. I assume they put that in there for things like the Mac 10. But with as vague as that fucking language is, that also includes the Glock 18. Because technically you can say that Glocks are modeled after a full auto version of the same gun. When I say you could say, I mean that's what they're gonna fucking say. In fact, several fucking semi-automatic, single-action, double-action pistols have a full-auto counterpart. You know, like the Mauser. I don't know why anybody would ever carry that stupid-ass gun, but okay. If you're wondering what it looks like, watch any fucking World War II movie. It's the one the Nazis are using. Commonly called the broom handle. Yeah, that one. Doesn't fucking matter anyway, because H.R. 1808 says the magazine has to go into the pistol grip or else it's fucking banned. Now, I actually give them props for including verbiage that says grandfathered weapons and magazines. But grandfathered only means that it's grandfathered until they deem otherwise. Don't believe me? California did it. Notice this law is also worded to exclude law enforcement, personal protection, security, and military. So law enforcement gets to keep their AR-15s and their devilish high-capacity magazines. Also, the people making these dumbass laws are going to be guarded with the same shit we have now. What, you really thought they were going to let their security be undergunned? No, they have to be protected so they can strip your fucking freedoms away one goddamn increment at a time. I'm telling you this, people, we're losing the fucking Second Amendment. And if you don't understand why I'm so pissed off, the Second Amendment protects the other nine big ones. Like your right to say what you want and not be persecuted by the fucking government for it. We're about to live in a world where you want to go protest and the government's like, nah, we're not having that. You want to practice your religion the way you see fit? Too bad. Cops just showing up at your fucking door saying, hey, let us in. But you don't have a warrant. We don't fucking need one. The Fourth Amendment got repealed. Like, seriously, we're going to get to the point where you're going to get arrested and they said, you have the right to fucking <laughs> nothing. So what we need to do right now is band together as a fucking people. I know they don't have the support of the people to pass this shit because we're experiencing record high fucking gun sales right now. What you need to do is contact your congressman and tell them this shit ain't fucking cool. They need to slap this shit down. Maybe if we make enough noise, I'll know not to fuck with our goddamn rights anymore. Because there's no such thing as common sense gun laws. You want common sense? Level the playing field between the criminal and the law-abiding citizen. Don't give up. Fight's just beginning.